Perhaps the most understated yet monumental shift brought by fire was its impact on our diet. Before fire, every meal was raw. Tough roots, sinewy meat. It took immense energy and time to chew and digest. Our ancestors spent hours gnawing, their bodies expending precious calories just to process what they ate. But with fire, everything changed. Cooking food breaks down tough fibers, making it softer, easier to chew, and far more digestible. More nutrients could be extracted, and dangerous pathogens in raw meat were eliminated. This wasn't just about convenience. It was about nutrition, and ultimately about evolution. Less time chewing and digesting meant more available energy for other activities. More importantly, it meant a steady, high-quality fuel source for the most demanding organ in the human body, the brain. Anthropologists suggest that the advent of cooking directly contributed to the dramatic increase in human brain size. With a reliable, energy-rich diet, our ancestors could afford to grow bigger, more complex brains, setting the stage for advanced cognition, language, and culture. Fire literally fed our intelligence, making us smarter, faster thinkers. Think about the modern campfire, the storytelling, the laughter, the shared silence. That's not a recent phenomenon. It's an echo of our deepest past. With fire, the day didn't end when the sun went down. The flickering light extended waking hours, creating a central gathering point where individuals could truly connect. Around the warmth of the hearth 